So let's revise again electrophilic substitution of benzene derivative. Here you see four different classes of benzene derivative and I'm going to talk about why they are activating, deactivating and the reasons behind. So let's take a look at the halogen series first. So I'm just talking about a halobenzene. Okay. X here represents the halogen. We know that halogens are electronegative so they pull electron. So they are electron withdrawing groups by inductive effect. Just based on the electronegativity nature, you just pull electron. But at the same time, you have got lone pair on all this halogen that could be delocalized into the ring. Do you see my arrow is being pushed from this lone pair to the first bond here? You're going to break this pi bond and push these electrons to the next carbon, which is the second carbon of the substituent. And this process is acting as electron donating group via resonance. However, as you know that they are very stingy with electrons because they are electronegative, so this is a weak effect. <clears throat> In the first case, inductive is strong because they are just electronegative. So overall, which one wins? The electron withdrawing factor of halogens will win, which means that they are deactivating. For this polarized pi bond, you see that when I draw this out one more time, due to the positive or slight positive nature of X, the next atom directly connected to the benzene ring, I could actually draw a resonance structure. You see from this pi bond, push, and then I'm going to break this pi bond and push, just because we have a pi bond here and X wants electron. And what do we become? This will become the structure. And now you notice the ring itself will hold on to a positive charge. And what does that tell you? The ring now is electron deficient. So that's why it is deactivating because it lowers the electron density in the benzene ring. And on top of that, since this group here really pulls electrons away from benzene ring. It is electron withdrawing group by resonance because there's real electrons going out, movement out. And this is very strong. So that's why it's highly unlikely that after this, you have a substitution, although it's still possible. Now the next group, we have the first atom here. There's a heteroatom with lone pairs of electrons. And like the halogens, they could donate electrons to it. So let's take a look at this, maybe a phenol. Okay, lone pair here overlap with the p orbitals of the benzene ring and push and push. So we know that oxygen here is electron withdrawing because of its electronegative nature. This is weak. And this is by inductive. The lone pair on the oxygen, or if you're talking about an amine, it can be pushed inside. This becomes electron donating group. And this is stronger than this above. And that effect is by resonance. Why resonance? Because there's actually real movement, the lone pair go into the ring. And after this, if you take a look closely, we would actually have a negative charge onto this atom here. And then forming this double bond, O taking positive. So now inside the ring now, we have a negative charge, which means that this ring is activated. So this is activating. Lastly, our group, they are just alkyl groups. They do not have lone pair, no electrons, but we know that they like to give up electrons. They just push. So they are electron donating, inductive, because there's no lone pair. 
okay? And this is weak. But since they do not have electron withdrawing group here, they are not electronegative, they do not pull, they only push, but even though when they push, it's only a bit, but still overall pushing, so it's activating. But not that strong. Okay. So, you see now that for those that are activating, who they are and why they are, and those that are deactivating, why is it so? Even though there's both electron withdrawing, electron donating groups, we have to understand the inductive and resonance effect. Why is it strong and weak and conclude overall on the electrophilic substitution of the benzene derivative?